Yo, what's going on, sexy Sam? Let's go today. We're here doing rank with one. I am playing. I was gonna say Poseidon. This is not Poseidon. This is actually Anubis. Anubis. Uh, Did I go? I kind of feel like I should go. Okay, listen. Horrific is good because anti heal during the alt and extra damage mitigation. But it won't slow him. But I think that's fine, right? Decrease damage dealt by 10%. What is the upgraded version of Horrific do? Is it still 10%? I can't look, can I? Relic? It won't let me look. Uh, okay. I'm just going to go Shell. We're just going to play it safe. We're just going to play it safe. Now, here's the thing. We are playing Anubis because he got pretty massively buffed. I'm going to go ahead and pull it up here uh, because it's easy for everyone to see. Uh, he got a base health increase and an HP per level increase, which is both very needed. The duration of his passive went up for one second, which isn't that much. It's not that big of a deal, but it does help a little bit, I guess. Uh, in between your ability spamming, you actually can maintain that passive just for like autos and stuff like this. And then you got a cooldown reduction on the one and a damage increase on the one and a two second stun at every rank now instead of going from 1.6 to 2. It is 2 at every rank, which is really good because you used to level your stun last anyways. So there's really no point in uh, in the, the stun being 1.6 all the way up to 2 because it was only 0.1 seconds per increase. And like... It didn't really feel worth it, but now at two seconds flat, you absolutely don't need to upgrade. Oh, okay. Hello. Can I get this? Oh, 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 no way. I got that. That's crazy. He is mad. He is probably, he got, he started frostbound and still didn't get the first buff. Criminal. That's unlucky. That is unlucky for you, buddy. Hello. Hello. He's very angry. Very angry. You have beads? You do have beads. Okay, so I can't really rely on on that. Oh, there it is. Nice. Okay, alright. I don't really understand why he did that, if I'm completely honest. Because... Like, in what universe does he actually kill me there? Even if I don't have Shell, I still had an additional 60 HP left, which is more than one auto attack's worth of damage. So, yeah, even if... Even if I didn't have Shell, he doesn't kill me, I don't think. I mean, maybe it would have been really close, right? All right, I'm down to use my ult just to peel him away. Okay. Lucky me. So he does have ult. Well, he doesn't yet, but he will have ult soon. That's going to mess me up something fierce. So what I need to do is I need to get this red buff as soon as possible, hopefully before he shows up, but I don't think I'll be able to get it before he shows up. Okay, surprising. I actually was able to get it. We're gonna grab it, we're gonna go back, we're gonna get Bancrofts and tier one breastplate, and then hopefully be able to fight him still. He does have finished Frostbound, but I don't think Frostbound does that much for him, for him or for me. I don't care about my attack speed. My move speed is basically irrelevant because I can't move when I use my abilities anyways. So, I think I'm chilling. We got triple buff control. Do I get XP camp too? No way. We even get XP camp? Okay, we're actually looking really good here. I'm a little scared just because the frostbound does mean he can run me down if I miss my wrap, but I don't know. I have a feeling I'm not going to miss. I have a feeling missing is in, in, in the books for me today. They're actually backing. Okay. That's weird. Because now I get my blue buff for free.
I am leveling my three, by the way. I don't know. I, I haven't really played Anubis in a long time because he's been kind of like really bad because of all the anti heal. And he's still not great, to be honest, but maybe the buffs help enough. Maybe the buffs help enough. Okay, that's annoying. I actually do a significant amount of damage, I'm not gonna lie to you. Mm. Uh oh. Alright. I think I'm okay here. I I don't know. I'm kind of scared. I'm going to be honest. But I want to grab this anyways. Oh, that would have... That would have owned him. That would have owned him so hard. I am actually feeling good, though. I'm feeling good. He's got HP, but... He's got more burst than he can deal with, I think. He beat... Oh, Frostbound. That's why he had enough mana for his two and his three, and he had Frostbound up. Okay, that's why he beads. All right. All right. Respectable. I didn't even think about the, the potential of beads there. I thought I would poke him out a little bit, and poking him out would give me the opportunity to get his blue buff for free. But I got played. My own hubris has ended me. He's gonna have finished pestilence now, isn't he? Oh no. Oh no. Crossbound pesky. I never hurt him again. Yep. I don't know I don't know what pain is. Those are not up. Wow, I really do nothing. Did 190 damage, brother. Mm. Okay. I mean, that's his ult for free, though. Which is kind of good. I don't know. Pestilence owns... Just how damn thanky he is. Look how thanky this man is. I don't think... Well, actually, I was going to say I don't think I'll ever be able to kill him. Once I get Typhons, I might be able to. I can't really rely on Lifesteal, though, so I don't really want to go Typhons. But... Do I really have a choice? Between my passive giving me Lifesteal... Which gives me more power for Typhons. I feel like I don't really have a choice. I have to go Typhon. Kind of a shitty situation. I mean, it's a shitty matchup in general, but it's also a shitty situation. I'm going to go Horrific. Even though he's slow immune, there's no way he's going Beat Stick, too. That'd just be stupid. The anti heal cap is like 70%, right? Uh, it doesn't show. Maybe it's 80%. I don't know. I feel like you definitely don't need more anti-heal than 50%. That's ridiculous. Alright. Fine by me. Uh, he could kill me potentially because he's got beads up. It's fine. I don't think he's ever going to like fall in me right now. I think he's just trying to buy time for red buff. I missed. Okay. 
Without Typhons, I definitely cannot kill him. I mean, I can I can try. But I just do not do nearly enough damage. Now he can all in really easily. I'm pretty sure he's still here. But I'm just going to poke him in anyways. Oh, nice. Uh, you beads yeah all right cool so even though i can't kill him it turns out he can't kill me and i got the red buff which feels very very good for me all right cool actually i can get blue buff too oh no i killed myself I missed my wrap. I actually could have killed him so easy if I hit that wrap. I can still maybe kill him. Assuming I, I land wrap, right? Okay, well, I didn't land wrap. Unlucky. Unlucky. I just keep missing. If I didn't miss, this guy would be so dead, but I stink. I'm so bad. Go staff. Need more percent pen. Yeah, Anubis Wrap is buffed. It's two seconds flat now. Yeah, death stinks. I mean, I guess it doesn't really stink, right? We're pretty much even. He didn't get my blue. All he does is get his blue. The problem realistically with this matchup is that, one, if I miss a wrap, I lose the game, right? And two, uh, he can do Bull Demon very, very quick, which makes it terrifying for me to actually try to fight at any point in the game. Because if I am the one that loses the fight, he just does full demon, and I lose. Although I will say, my damage does feel a lot better after getting that, um... After getting that Typhon. Alright. I am confident here. He's probably just gonna back, though. Oh. Parked his Jotuns. Nice. Do you have better buff secure for bull? Uh, I do not. All of my damage is tick damage, which means no matter what I do, his one is going to out-secure me. Goodness. Okay. Well, I actually live, which I'm extremely surprised about. Uh oh. Oh, no good. No good healing here. Nice. I don't think he expected my ult to be up. I think he wasn't the he wasn't expecting the good old fashioned forty eight second ult. Which, by the way, what the fuck? Because <laughs> I, I do have max cooldown, but holy crap, that ult is crazy fast cooldown. Oh my god. And it's not even it's not even max yet because it's not max level. When it's max level, it's 42 seconds. 42 second cooldown. Right, staff. Um, let's get this upgrade and go tier one rod because I need more percent pen. Uh, he does actually go for the beat stick, which I don't think helps him that much. Like I said, I mean, I'm already go gonna have maxed out pestilence on me at all times during the game so i really don't think that beat stick is gonna do much but i've been wrong before Can't tell if that's his passive or a 500 pot. Um, if he has beads, I don't really like my positioning here. I think he does have beads. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. That was his beads, thorns, and all. I don't think there's a way that I can do anything about that. I think if he has every relic up, I just simply lose the fight. Thorns only did 80 damage to me, but it did give him 15% mitigated. I'm glad that I did an alt because alting for like a, a panic button wouldn't have done anything for me. He is just going to get my Phoenix though. Which I guess is actually maybe okay. Just because realistically... He has to all in me under Titan now, which is hard to do. Although he could do it like over the course of three or four all ins and then just my Titan dies because it can't kill him fast enough. But if he's not focusing me, he's going to take too much damage. Probably I do need rod. So I'm trying to get as much XP as possible right now. I would love rod and a 500 pot. But the issue is, if he's here, I die to him. So. All right, we got Rod finished. Um, finish Heartseeker. That honestly doesn't do too much. Because I have 1,800 health. And that procs off health. So. I guess he could do Bull Demon for some extra regen. Helps a little bit. My cooldown is quick enough to where I can actually clear well. Yeah, how much does Heart Seeker do? 42. That's nothing, really. I'm okay with that. What? I'm okay with that. He did actually back. No, Midgard doesn't do anything. He's slow immune in his ult. The only reason I have the horrific is because it's damage mitigation and um, lower healing on his ult. I don't care much about the slow at all. If I get the slow, cool, but I'm not, like, trying to. You know what I mean? Auto-attacking over there? Mm. Expected. Expected. Because he's just going to do my, my Feeny. Got red pot. He doesn't have red buff, actually, which is kind of surprising. No. My damage is significantly higher than what it was, though. Could maybe kill here. Yeah, okay. Can't kill, but even though I can't kill, my Titan didn't take any damage. And it was a good proof of concept that I do live. Which is nice. So even even if he all ends me right here, I can live. Granted, it's a little sticky. But it does work. I'm gonna go the perfected rod because this gives me movement speed. My damage is really good. I, I I'm not scared about my damage. Phoenix died though. Well, he had bull demon. The phoenix isn't gonna live anyways. This is just a play on the back foot here. How long can I keep him off my titan?
Okay. I want to proc that ward. I want to proc that ward before it means anything, you know? Nice. Grab the vine. What mechanism does this power arise? It's hard for him to come in here, you know? Now I've got the vine. I got my relics up again, which means he has his relics up again, which is terrifying, but... Also fine, I suppose. Nice. Not scared of him at all. I want to keep him here because it means that I can get my Phoenix back. back up. That feels good. Oh my god. No way. No way that kills him. Holy crap. Holy crap. That cooked. That actually did so much. I, I might be able to get a phoenix here, to be honest. There's a phoenix. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. Now back, please. Nice. Nice. I get the elixir of power too. If I do my blue buff and I do a 500 pot, dude, I do my blue buff. I have enough gold for a 500 pot. I could actually win this game. Which is crazy, because this matchup is stinky McGee. Um, I, the problem is I wasn't timing his alt, or I wasn't timing his bead, so I don't know. I don't know what he has up and what he doesn't, because if he has beads up and he all ins me, I'm just dead. But I definitely don't want you to get this, that's guaranteed. Oh, here he comes. He beats. I still have every everything up. Oh, we got him, baby. We got him, baby. I heard I saw him juke this way a little bit when I jumped the wall, and that's GG. That is GG, dude. Oh god. I got owned. I can't believe we won this game. This is such a bad matchup for Anubis, and we just win it. Because we can turtle Titan so hard. Like I, I was in Titan room for a solid 10 minutes that game. I was, I was turtling for a solid 10 minutes. I think his build was bad. I think beat stick was irrelevant. Um, I also think heart seeker was irrelevant. I think what he should have gone like instead of, instead of beat stick and heart seeker, because both items are like, yeah, iffy, uh, double defense for sure. Like probably a Genji's or Shogun's either one's good. Uh, 
And then probably, like, because you don't need much damage. You just need to be able to withstand my damage. Pestilence is more than enough anti-heal. You probably get defense instead of Heartseeker. I mean, I guess you could keep Brawlers if you want, but I actually would have preferred, like, a Titan's Bane. I'm not that tanky, don't get me wrong. Like, he already, he already has percent pen. So Titan's Bane kind of doesn't even matter, but it is 50 physical power. So, I don't know. Either way, GG. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a crazy game. I feel like I should not have won, but I did. Uh, if you enjoyed it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace.